Oh, howdy do, Buckaroos. I locked my camera down to get started. So, hey, so I'm at uh, Brown Derby International Wine Center. And I'm having the stone uh, enjoyed by 7414 on tap here. They had it on tap. So I hadn't bought the bottle yet. I, I bought the, the last one, but I hadn't bought this one in the bottle, but I hadn't had it on tap. They're getting $7 a pint for it. Not bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't buy every incarnation of this because it does feel a bit like a gimmick to me. I, not that it's not a great beer, it is, but it is one of those things. What I mean by gimmick is it's one of those things that make craft beer guys go out and buy it every time. I just refuse to play the game. <laughs> but I do buy it every now and again because it, it is good and it does change slightly from, you know, From vintage to vintage, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, it is a beautiful golden, as you can see, deep golden. Uh, the aromas are big, they're bright, they're big, grapefruit, big citrus. And not having the last one side by side, it's really hard to say what difference is. It does feel different, though. Uh, uh, that the uh, the texture of the mouthfeel feels different for some reason. Although I'm going to be real honest here, I haven't looked up any particulars on this particular vintage because I don't know what they've done different. Uh, but it's good. Yeah, there's a, a huge citrus up front. Seems like every summer I find a new beer uh, to really delve into. You know, uh, I think a couple seasons ago or three seasons ago, I think it actually was. I really loved the saison. You know, then there was the following year. Seems like there was a ton of craft pilsners out that really were, were you know, bigger, and better than before. But this year, it's really been all about the IPA for me. Whether it's a big IPA like this one, double IPAs, or the so-called session IPA. Uh, it just those big hops are very refreshing when the weather is as hot as it has been. This only this runs, I don't know. I, I think without being over, it runs about eight dollars a bomber, so I'm paying seven dollars for a pint. I'm gonna say that's not too bad, considering I'm you know I'm having it out, I'm having it on tap. I. <laughs> They had some samples up there, uh, and I had the stone uh, smoked porter with Chipotle. So I think my palate's a little confused because I took a drink of this and I just burped big citrus and Chipotle. So I think I'm confusing both beers there. I've got two great beer stores in town. I've got Macadoodles, which you've seen me do videos from, and then I got this one here, the Brown Derby International Wine Center, which I've done a, uh, a few videos from as well, not as many as from Macadoodles. Uh, both have a great craft beer selection. Both have great wine selections. Both have great liquor selections. So I am fairly lucky in, in that capacity. I, there is still a lot that I can't get here, but that's a distribution thing. It's not the fault of either of my stores, because they're both bringing in anything that can be brought in. And I've got friends in larger markets in Springfield, Missouri, that don't have near the selection that I have here. I've got a pretty good selection. So even though there are a ton of crap beers that I can get here, I wish I could, I really can't complain because my selection is damn good at both places. Oh, wow. This is very nice on tap, by the way. Uh, I should have been talking more about this. That's kind of what I do, though. I ramble with Ted. Uh, yeah, I, I do like the Enjoy by series. I just don't feel like buying it every time because my money is limited. I, you know, if I buy this every time it comes out, then there's something else I'm not trying, and I just don't feel I I want to do that. And that's what I meant by a gimmick. I didn't mean it was a bad beer or a gimmick beer. I mean the idea of the Enjoy By series as a gimmick, not the beer itself. So I don't want to offend anybody by saying that. Hey, it's time to beer whisper. Hey, get a, come down if you get a chance, man. This is great on tap.